Okay. Uh, welcome to my island tour. Um, uh, it's kind of like a never-ending project, so I don't want to say that it's like done or anything. Um, but I've put in a lot of work. I've put in uh, almost 200 hours now since the game came out because I am temporarily laid off. So, um, I reset like four or five times when I got the game because I really wanted cherries. And uh, the airport didn't really matter to me, but I'm really glad I got yellow because I like how the plane looks and it's my favorite color. So, the bottom part of the island is like kind of developed um, and then the rest of it is like more wild. It's still pretty foresty even down here because that's just the look I was going for. So there is a good amount of like unused space um, but I think it looks pretty with all the trees so anyways um, we've got resident services right up here and everything behind here is pretty well like up on a cliff as you can see. I've got my shops here as well. So Abel Sisters is sitting here where uh, Biff's house was initially. And then I've got my museum right here. And I built this little kind of like waterfall area um, not long after I put those like mountains up. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. <clears throat> and then we've got Nook's Cranny right here. And and I did move this from the other side of the museum. It used to kind of be like behind resident services and then of course when it upgraded it was like right behind <laughs> town hall so it got moved over here and then the cliffs went in a little bit after and today is the first day of it being upgraded so yay for that. Um, so I guess I'll show you the map so that you kind of have an idea of where we are. Um, yeah basically the big like tree area next to me is just unused forest. Um, same with right below resident services. But I do have a couple like cute little spots down by the beach um, that I'm still gonna be working on a little bit more. Just places to like um, sit and chill. And yeah, the rest of my beach is pretty empty. I've just been putting some flowers on it. And I've got like a hammock and a bench here and there but I will take you into the little villager area we've got. So the neighborhood kind of starts here. This was where Canberra's house used to be, and now it is Meringue. And since Canberra moved out naturally, like she just asked me to move out, and then I found Meringue on a mystery tour, um, it's actually Meringue's house, which is nice. Although I really liked the look of Canberra's because it was a really cute little like log cabin. Um, I've got a little chill area down here with a beach ball. And then this is Pico's house, and I only just moved Pico's house here, it used to be up by my bamboo forest, um, but I needed to move it to get more space. And I kind of like it here, because this way Meringue is not completely alone. And I've got a little bridge here, and then this is Pearl's house, as you can see, but it's Biff's exterior, because Pearl moved in by the campsite, she suggested that Biff might want to leave, and so it's all of her beautiful, like, fancy furniture on the inside, and then it's this, like, ugly-ass exterior. <laughs> so keep that in mind when you're moving villagers out by a campsite, because I fucking hate his house so much. <laughs> so when Pearl asks to leave, she is free to go. And this is Kyle's house. I gave him a skull welcome plate that I found in uh, Nook's Cranny. And I kind of love it because he plays KK Metal inside and he's just kind of a dork, so. Yep. And then this is just my really crappily thrown together little Sakura picnic spot because I had no idea where to put it, so I went there. <laughs> and then we've got some more houses up here. This little picnic space I literally threw together today. This area needs like a lot of work. I don't know what I'm going to put here. Probably just more flowers and maybe another tree or a well or a fountain. I don't know. Yeah, it used to be literally just trees, so this is a bit of an upgrade. Um, we've got Lopez here, Gladys, and Cookie, who easily has like the best plot in the whole, uh, well, close to the best plot on the whole island. And um, my beach here goes 
like all the way up, but there's nothing interesting up there except for a lighthouse. Which I was really happy that Nook's Cranny, or sorry, my um, Nook Miles thing had the yellow version because it matches my airport, so that's kind of fun. I don't know what I'm going to do up here. I kind of want to do something like on these rocks, um, but I don't, I have no clue what. I already have a spot for my hot spring, even though it looks really good on the rock, so I might even put some stairs up onto the cliff next to there and make it like a double spot. I don't know. Anytime I come up with crap like that, it always ends up kind of wild. Um, so I like putting lots of these little spots down here, like around, just a nice little place to sit. And I've got Jacob's house here among the flowers. His is in like kind of an awkward position, but I kind of love it, so I'm leaving it where it is. And then this bridge takes you back to my tranny. And I have this little angled signpost here. So this is one of the few ways to get to my house, but we'll go this way first to find Poppy. So she's got a really nice spot of land here. Because um, I want her to be one of my villagers that stays here forever too, so I don't really mind spoiling her. Um, this is going to be a log staircase once I stop being broke. And it's going to lead into the bamboo forest. So Pico's house used to sit like right here. And then of course I moved it because, uh, yeah, you'd have, you had to kind of like inch around it to get back here. And I want this to just be this bamboo. And I've got a couple little like, you know, the cute like folklore items here. Um, I just think it's cute. I'm gonna move this somewhere better eventually. And I've also got some of the bamboo floor lamps and the bamboo dolls here because they are glowy. It's hard to tell because it's like daytime right now, but at night it's really pretty. They work really well as like little lamps. And here's the hot spring pool. So if anything, I would have stairs going down here, like widen this out, have stairs going down and then have a second spa level on the beach. Um, but that's like, that's a long time coming, so not even gonna think about that right now. And this kind of just loops around and it's basically gonna be a dead end here, I guess. I don't really have any way of making it like natural progression. And this is just my blue wildflower farm, which is not working out very well right now. So anyways, uh, these are the stairs that we came up to get to Poppy's. And then if you go this way, you get to the campsite right here. And then, which is, I moved it. It used to be over where my wildflower farm is, and it was really like, or windflower, sorry. And it was really crowded. And then this is my house, which I have obviously moved. And uh, I was kind of going for like a witchy, natural sort of vibe here. I definitely had a lot less space here than I thought I would, um, but it's fine. It works out pretty nice. Um, so I'm going to go back to Resident Services now so I can show you the little hike that I built. I posted like a brief recap of this hike on Twitter. Um, and it was pretty well inspired by an actual couple hikes that like are near where I live. Um, yeah, so you come up here, we've got a little sign warning us about grizzly bears. Um, which are actually things I have to worry about where I live. Well, not worry about, but be aware of. Bear aware. And then uh, I've got my big teddy, or pop bear plush here. And then I have Grizzly's house here. And he's got his little beehive and a uh, little wasp nest there that actually fell because I got stung by wasps and then I came up to get it and decided it looked good so I was just gonna leave it. Um, and then we've got our little tea house quote. I was gonna make like a second character and have their house be up here and actually have like a whole tea house thing going on inside, but the houses take up like a ton of space <laughs> and I like it better this way so it's visible and that way you don't have to like walk in anywhere and I can sit out here with like people that come to visit or anything like that. Um, this is a little pond that falls down next to resident services in the museum. And then this staircase here brings us over to the campsite. I didn't want to have like too many dead ends because it's a lot easier to get around the island this way. And then I built my little observatory here, which isn't like really a work in progress, but I do want to do something to this eventually. Like this, something about the space just kind of bugs me. 
Um, I want to have like all blue wind flowers here. I'll maybe keep those white ones there, but at night this looks really pretty because of the way the stars like reflect on the, the water and yeah, you get it. And then this is just kind of like a little meadow area, which is also a waste of space, which I might eventually to do something with, like expand this into a whole thing, I don't know. I kind of like the like spots that are really natural. Um, yeah. And then if we go down this staircase here, I'm going to have a little like picnic area here and I actually want to get like a picnic table. Although I haven't seen one yet in the game, but I know they exist. So hopefully I'll find something like that and I'll pretty this up a little bit more. I just tossed this stone here for no reason. I kind of like the concept of like being rewarded for searching for things, like in games where you're like, oh I want to get there, and then when you get there, it's actually something, like in Breath of the Wild, and that's kind of what I want to go for with my town, and things where you can hear things, like water, but you don't know where it is and you have to like search for it. Um, and then we've got this area here, which was like the first big project I undertook when I got terraforming. Um, Really loosely inspired by an actual park in Fukuoka in Japan, and also the lakes from uh, the Time and Fell games, which are not even my favorite Pokemon games, but I just really like their like big peaceful lake areas. And I also like all the blue pansies I put up here because this whole area just spawns like a ton of peacock butterflies, which sell for a lot of money. So that's empty. And I also want to do something on the rocks back here, because it's just a ton of space that is doing nothing. But I don't know what. So I'll leave that for you. And that is pretty much it. So this bridge here and these stairs take you back over to Grizzly's house. And then you can go back down these. So these stairs here to get back to resident services. And there you have it. I don't think I missed anything. Um, my house used to be like just to the right of where Grizzly's house is. I put that entire area from like that beach to Nook's Cranny up on a second level. And like a little beyond that. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's it. So thank you so much for the love on my posts and everything like that. Um, I really appreciate it, and I'll probably upload some more videos eventually, like, I don't know, streaming type videos, but I don't think I'm actually gonna stream, because a lot of shit, like, distracts me in daily life. Oh, I have a pagoda out here. <laughs> I forgot I put this there. And just a little beach hangout area. Um, yeah. I think that's it. So, thanks for joining me on my little tour of Chickadee. It was pretty brief, but, uh... I'll leave it there and I will talk to Grizzly and see what's going on. Have a good one, guys.